two incredible servants of the Melbourne Football Club. They join me now, Nathan Jones and Neville Jetta. <laughs> Boys, welcome back to the MCG. Uh, Jonesy, I'm going to start with you because it's been a chaotic few months for you and the family. Congratulations, twins. The family goes from two kids to four kids. Has it been chaotic? Oh, yeah, chaotic's one word, mate. Um, but, you know, we're a little bit sleep deprived, but hanging in there. Got a plenty of help, and um, all four kids are healthy, and uh, I'm enjoying retirement. Speaking of retirement, there's not much time for rest. You're looking pretty fit. What are you working towards? <laughs> uh, look, I'm just trying to keep occupied, mate, and uh, any excuse to get out of, the out of the house for a couple of hours. So um, I signed up for the Melbourne Half Ironman in March. It's a fair old undertaking. I'm sure you'll uh, absolutely slay it. Um, Jonesy, look around you. There's 35,000 Melbourne fans here in the house this afternoon. What has this fan base meant to you over the years? Oh, yeah, they're the reason why I think guys like me and Nev and a few others have experienced the pretty dark times hung in there. And, um, you know, this is yours. Um, you know, the players, no doubt, over the last probably 12 months, 18 months, have really drawn on, um, I guess, the tragedy of the fact that you guys haven't been able to be there and be a part of uh, many uh, games live. And um, I think the greatest tragedy that came out of this year is the fact the game wasn't played here and um, in front of all you guys. But hopefully you're enjoying it today. Soak it up. Um, you absolutely deserve it. And uh, don't worry, Nev and I are putting the pressure on Maxi and the boys to, to make sure they bring it home uh, next season. And um, we'll all be here celebrating. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate and thank Nathan Jones. Time now to hear from another demon who built some great memories through the year in the red and blue. I speak of Neville Jetta. Uh, Nev, being here must, you know, plenty of memories for you. Your time at the footy club, uh, you must be wrapped with what you've achieved. Yeah, I said I was uh, very, very proud to be able to pull on a Guernsey from the Melbourne Footy Club and um, to form some great relationships. From within my teammates, uh, within the club, both football department, admin department, but also our supporters, and, and have those long-lasting relationships is uh, something I'm looking forward to. Spend Speaking of great reg uh, legacies in red and blue, the legacy that you'll leave us in terms of what you've done for the Indigenous community, that must really be close to your heart. Yeah, it's it definitely seen the club grow in that area. Uh, Peter Jackson at the time definitely helped. Help, uh, you know, give me the opportunity to, to push the club in, in the right way and um, yeah, to be able to educate not only my teammates but, but our supporters as well has is, is, uh, been amazing. I asked Nate the same question but what does this fan base mean to you? The Red and Blue Army. Yeah, it's, uh, they've been amazing for, for a long time sticking with us and uh, to, see, to see them now, see the smile on their faces, see how proud they are of not only the players but us, us as a whole footy club and to be able to wear the red and blue with pride. Um, yeah, it's awesome to see. Congratulations, Congratulations boys. boys. I'm sure you'll join me in thanking and congratulating Nathan Jones and Neville Jeddah.